You know, the Cedar Point Bridge is pretty hard to miss when you're heading out to the island. It's been family owned for decades, but that's all changing. Mobile County is taking over the pier. Our Lacey Beasley caught up with the previous owners who say the sale was a bittersweet moment. I've been out here on Cedar Point Pier all evening and with the beautiful weather we've had, there's been dozens of people fishing. Now the McCrays have owned this pier for 34 years, but that legacy ends soon. It's a sad day, but it's also a good day. Jay McRae and his brothers, Steve and Butch, took over Cedar Point Pier after their father's passing in 2018. In 1986, Roland McRae bought the pier and rebuilt it from scratch. And it's been a labor of love for the family ever since. But now, the family deciding to pass the torch. Mobile County buying the pier for $2.1 million. McRae says the family received multiple offers, but they decided to sell to the county because they promised to keep their father's vision alive. We were looking for somebody that would continue what my father started, what he built, which was a family atmosphere, uh, keeping the no fishing license needed and uh, maintaining the same kind of quality uh, that we had when we were running it. On the pier, one woman says she comes all the way from Kentucky to fish here. It's just a family orientated place. If I lived closer, we'd be bringing our grandchildren out here. So hopefully nothing really changes. A big attraction is most likely because no fishing license is required, and that's on the forefront of Burgess's mind. She hopes that doesn't change. County Commissioner Randall Dewitt sending us a statement. I'm very excited that the Mobile County Commission is purchasing the Cedar Point Pier. I want the people of Mobile County to know they will still not have to obtain a fishing license to enjoy fishing on the pier, and hopefully we will be able to lower the cost. Now, Commissioner Dewitt also tells us that he hopes to offer free admission on the pier for at least the first few months following the acquisition. Reporting from Cedar Point Pier, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.